Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Morgan from My Little Homeschool in the Woods. Today I'm going to be showing you what a lesson looks like in our ready to read um, reading program from Gather Round. So stay tuned. Alright guys, before we get into the lesson for today, I want to go ahead and talk to you about what is ready to read if you do not know. So this is from Gather Around Homeschool and they have a whole ready to read program going. There's four different units. We have done the first one. This is the second one. The first one was Burrows and Holes, we got At the Pond, Ice and Snow, and On the Savannah. So it takes them through like kindergarten through first grade. And it's everything that you need to teach your child. It is math, it's the phonics, it's the science, it's everything. So. It's a really great program and I just realized that I haven't really showed you guys what a lesson looks like while we've been doing it. We've been doing it this whole school year, so or most of the school year. And um yeah, so today I figured we could go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So let's get into it. Alright guys, I was gonna, just gonna show you real quick what you get with this when you order. So this is ready to read two. You get the teacher's guide, you get book student book A and then student book B. This is the print um, version. They also have the digital, which I didn't do because he is my um, youngest child. I will not have to teach reading to any more children. So we went ahead and got the print. So yeah, that's what you get. I also keep like all his stuff in these little plastic um, pocket things. Um, it has just like his flashcards. I will show you some of the stuff when we get into the lesson. But having a way to organize all the stuff is really handy. Like he makes little books and he has flashcards and all that. And he also has money, which for some reason I just put them over there. So, but yeah. So you're going to want something to organize everything if you go with this program. Here's Owen. He is the star of today's show. Owen, can you tell us how old you are? You don't know? Can you say I'm five? <laughs> he is our kindergartner. So here we go. We're going to get started on our lesson. I've got him doing some uh, tracing while I do the reading part of the lesson. So we're going to get right into that. You go ahead and trace and look for your words. See in here, you can look for your words while I read, okay? All right, so it says lunchtime for frogs. What would you do if you were served a plate full of mosquitoes, flies, and crickets for lunch? Would you eat them? No. You might not be too happy. A lunch like that doesn't sound tasty to us, but it's perfect for a frog. Mosquitoes are insects that thrive near ponds, swamps, and other places with warm, still water. They lay their eggs in water, which hatch into larvae that swim around and eat while they grow. The warm, still pond, right, still water of ponds, swamps, and marshes are, is a perfect place for mosquito larvae to thrive. And this isn't such a good thing for people. Have you ever swatted at a mosquito or gotten a mosquito bite? Have you ever gotten a mosquito bite? Yeah. Oh, Adult female mosquitoes feed on the blood of animals and people too. Sometimes a mosquito bite is just an itchy nuisance. But mosquitoes can also, also cause lots of problems for people because some types of mosquitoes can transmit dangerous diseases like malaria and dengue fever. People who live in places where mosquitoes transmit diseases might have to take special precautions to stay safe, like sleeping under a mosquito net. And frogs, let's see, frogs help keep the populations of bothersome insects like mosquitoes down because some species of frogs can eat insects all day long and all night too. Where do mosquitoes lay their eggs? Do you remember? In the warm, still water. Um, why are mosquitoes a bother to humans? So why do mosquitoes bother us? What? what? Because it has sugar blood. We have sugar blood? <laughs> they cause bites and they can spread diseases and stuff too, right? So, yeah. Okay, so he is here. Put your book down. 
All right, so he is finding all his og words in the puzzle down here and reading them. So it looks like you got almost all of them. You're supposed to check them off when you get them, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. So you got hog, log. What else did you get? You got frog. Frog. Mm -hmm. And you got um, fog. I forgot to trace this. Oh, okay. Go ahead and trace it. Yeah. Hot dog. Mm -hmm. Isn't dog your favorite one? I see dog. It's in there. Mm -mm. Yeah. Hey. Okay, does it have the letters next to it? Mm -hmm. Like O? Okay. Is there another D? There. Yeah, there's a D. Mm -mm. You know, no O's next to it? Mm -mm. You sure? Huh? No, no, no. You sure? Here's D. Here's an O. Oh, the O. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, you can mark that one off if you want to. Oh, it's right here. Good. <laughs> yep, that's your new second word. It's only four. Good job. Alright, so now Wait. we gotta go to the next page. Right here? Nope, not that way. Wow! No. Whoops! <laughs> Never done it again. You can do it. What? Okay, the next part is a math page. So let's take a look. What does it say? Write the answer to each subtraction problem. Remember to cross out pictures to help you discover the answer. Okay, so do you remember yesterday we did subtraction? So it's takeaway, right? Oh. So remember, we here. Let's read the first problem. Six. Yeah. So up here we have six frogs. You can cross out two. Oh, you already know it. Okay. Well, if you need to, you can cross them out, and it will help you. Okay. So what is this one? Takeaway one is what? You want to take away one of the mosquitoes, and then how many is left? Do I take away six or four? No, two? it's two. He was supposed to cross out like two of them. And then you count what's left, and that's your answer. See, like there's four, four frogs left. So over here, how many mosquitoes are left? Ah. Hmm? Uh. You can count them if it will help. Do I have to X this one? No, you just count those to see how many's left. Good job. Okay, so let's do this one. All right, can you read it? What does it say? Three, three. Take away zero. No, three take away zero equals what? We don't cross any out, so there's still how many? Good job, yeah. All right, how about this one? Can you yeah. read that one? Two, take away two. How many's left? Yeah, you're getting it. All right, what about this one? I took away one it. Oh, you already know that one? Five, take away two it. Wait. <laughs> how many's left? Good job. All right. All right. So, what does it say down here? I don't know. It says, "Did you notice something funny about one of these subtraction sentences? When you take zero away from three, nothing changed. It's still three. That's because zero means nothing. When you take away, take nothing away from a number, that number doesn't change. It's really easy to subtract zero. Yeah, Do you know how to? There. Okay, so, alright, let me show you. Let's go ahead and read it. Draw lines to match the digital clock over here with the analog clocks that show the same time. And Why tell me, what? One or? This one's ten, that one's one. And tell me what time each one says. Remember to say a clock when you tell me the time. Okay, remember the shorthand is the hour hand. It's right. pointing to the hour. So, it goes. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Can one. you tell me? One o'clock? 
What about this one? Uh, what time is it here? Whoops. You're supposed to do that one. Yeah. So what time is it? Can you tell me? Four. Four o'clock, right? Four. So what is this one? Remember to look where the hour hand is pointing. The short hand. So what time is it? Ten. Ten what? Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Okay. This is the social studies page. It says tadpoles don't need a lot of care from their parents, but children are quite a bit different. You don't live on your own and find your own food. You have a family to take care of you and protect you. In case of emergency, it's important to know your parents' name, okay? And the names of everyone in your family. Draw a picture of all the people in your family. Let's write the names of each member on the lines and draw arrows to show which family member in the drawing goes with which name. Okay, so can you draw a picture of all of us? Like, start, you can start with like daddy. Okay. You can start with like daddy right here and then just go down the line. Like daddy. I don't me. know how to draw. We can draw it like however you want. Here, like you want to know how to make a stick person? That's how I draw people. This is what I do. So daddy's really big, so we'll put his head up here. Here's his body, legs, his long legs, big feet, <laughs> long arms. He has really long arms, kind of like a monkey. And then his hair, kind of, kind of. <laughs> okay, and then you just finish drawing it, like however you want. You can make him have a smiley face. Okay. Mhm. Mm <laughs> and there's daddy. <laughs>so at the end of every lesson we go ahead and do our sight words uh, that's our words we're working on I think Wait. no those are which one's the sight words I think we got to mix up but anyway we're not going to do any of our books we're just going to work on like our sight words and our word families so this one here is okay it's the sight words but we got them mixed up okay here is, we're gonna go over, yeah. We're gonna go over our og words, see our ogs, and then we're gonna go, we had to have a snack, and we're gonna go over our eel words, okay? So we're gonna go over these two. So go ahead and do whichever one you wanna do first, okay? Mm -mm. You gotta read them to me, Goofy. Go ahead. I read this. You gotta read me some of them. Okay. Out loud? Fog. Okay. Huh? I can't hear you. Huh? Get off of it. Smog. Smog. What's the next one? Here we go. What is that one? Fog. That's our new sight word. It's a number word. Four. Four. Eyes. What? <laughs> what is it? What's that one? The. The? It says... No. No, don't drip it onto the book, please. What's that one? No. No? What's that one? Was. Was. Very good. No. Huh? She. She. Hush. What? <laughs> what is it? Hush. Have? Have. What's this one? A. <laughs> number word. Zero. Zero. One. <laughs> One. One. Nope. Two. 
You say and? Um. Oh. What? Two. Two. Eh. Two. Number word. One. No. Nope. Three. Three. Mm. Another number word. Two. Good job. All right, so that is what a lesson is looking like for us and ready to read. We are done for the day for him. That is all his subjects. He does sit in with us when we do our gather round, but that's just because he, you know, so he's part of it. There's not really much that he does in our regular gather round. So this is just his work. So anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you are not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.